So, uh, do you want your life to be fruitful? You, do you ever think about your life in those terms? Like, you know, what do I want? What do I, how, what am I going to accomplish? What, what's going to be on my, on my tombstone? You know, what is going to be my legacy? You know, I, I want my life to be fruitful. And, and what is that fruit? What is that fruit? I've mentioned a number of times, it seems to be a theme, I, I, not necessarily deliberate, but it's come up over and over again, that, you know, the first fruitfulness is just the fruits of the Spirit present in our, in our daily life. You know, peace and perseverance, patience, and those things, that those, those things would be in us. And, and then I, I think about, you know, that the faith that the faith that people would, that the church would grow. You know, when we think about the mustard seed and the mustard seed is so small and it's planted in the ground, then it grows and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then all the birds of the air and the birds are, so they tell us like symbols of the nations coming to the church, that the church would grow, you know, and, and, uh, you know, and I don't want to be pessimistic, but at the same time, I want to be, you know, let's just be real about it. Uh, the, the church has been growing and growing and growing and growing and growing since, since Jesus came. It's never been a time that it's shrunk. We're starting to plateau. Maybe even as a percentage of the population, we may be gaining, enough, gaining more, there may be more, but it's not equal to the population growth, if you follow what I'm saying. The seed sown on rich soil you know, I pray that my life is fruitful. I pray that your life is fruitful. First and foremost, the first fruits I think we should concern ourselves with is the fruit of the Holy Spirit in us today, that we would have love and joy and peace and patience and those things. And you know, when we have those things, it's gonna bear fruit and people are gonna be like, I want some of that. And so, my brothers and sisters, I, I want to mention at least uh, for a moment uh, St. Anne and St. Joachim, who had the privilege of, of uh, having the Blessed Mother as their daughter, you know, and, and uh, you know, what a grace that was, for sure. And, and their lives, you know, we never know. We never know how fruitful our lives may be. Did they understand the full significance of what Mary's life would be? I think about this too. This is something that I often think. Think about who was Mother Teresa's inspiration? Anonymous to history, right? But a tremendously fruitful life through that, uh, you know, one step removed. So, you know, whatever you're praying for today, Let's pray that our lives are fruitful, that Our Lady of the Gulf is fruitful, that the Diocese of Biloxi is that the church would continue to grow and bear fruit, that whatever this malaise, whatever the sickness that is, you know, stifling the growth of the church, that we could throw it off and that the church would flower and grow and truly be fruitful. Let's pray for fruitfulness in our own lives and families in the church today and for all time.